The Universities of Wisconsin system is a step closer to removing former Chancellor Joe Gao as a tenured faculty member at the UW La Crosse. News 19's Chandler Brindley spoke with Gao this afternoon about Chandler, a decision that affects the former Chancellor's future. Dave, that decision was made by five UWL faculty members after a two-day public hearing back in June. The unanimous conclusion recommends removing Joe Gao from his faculty role at the University of Wisconsin La Crosse. Back in December, Gao was fired from his chancellor role because of the discovery of him and his wife making and appearing in pornographic content. Gao has argued that creating videos and appearing in porn is protected by free expression and free speech. Speaking with Gal this afternoon, he said the decision from the hearing was based on tarnishing the reputation of the university. I asked if he believed the public hearing last month was fair. Here is his response. No, I don't. Uh, and it's sad because, you know, they had the same legal team that prosecuted the case is also advising the hearing committee. Uh, that's a big conflict of interest. Uh, I, I think uh, they should have found some other way to do that. The next steps are now in the hands of new UW Lacrosse Chancellor James Beebe. Uh, Gao says he will be offered a meeting which will take place with Beebe, and there will be a decision there. If that decision parallels the result of the hearing, he would then go to the UW System Board of Regents. Gao adds he would like that hearing to be public because he says this is a free speech, free expression issue. And Dave, let's not forget this is about the future of Dr. Gao's tenure and continuing as a faculty member at UW La Crosse. Gao was stepping down as chancellor before he was removed by the UW system. All right, Chandler, thank you very much. Gao says that Chancellor Beebe now has 20 days to reach out to him, but the hearing with the Board of Regents, there is no timetable there.